Hi, I'm Nathan, director of the Coming Nature Center for the Rochester Museum and Science Center. And today I want to talk about winter survival and animal adaptations. Humans, we put on gloves, we add a hat, we add an extra layer. That's how we attempt to stay warm. Some humans just head south for the winter like migratory birds. That squirrel, that squirrel grows more and thicker fur to stay warm. And that blue jay outside your window at your bird feeder, she doesn't add more feathers. She just puffs up her feathers to add, uh, to increase its loft, to add more insulation value. We all know that some animals hibernate for the winter. Woodchucks, for example, go into a true hibernation where they're, it's a deep sleep that, that where they are nearly unwakeable for the entire season. Other animals like chipmunks and bears, they go into a more periodic hibernation uh, called torpor, where it's a decreased state of physiological activity, um, usually during times when it's just too hard to find food. It's important to remember that hibernation is as much about finding food as it is about uh, the cold weather and all the snow. One amazing animal adaptation that's probably my favorite adaptation is what the gray tree frog, a native frog to New York and the Coming Nature Center does to survive the winter. The gray tree frog basically turns into a little froggy ice cube. What happens is that when the temperatures start to dip below freezing, the tips of its frog's fingers start to freeze and that produces, uh, that triggers its body to produce something called a cryoprotectant. It's um, a sugary antifreeze mixture that allows the frog to freeze solid without harming its cells. And then come spring, this frog thaws out and hops away. Now that is an amazing animal adaptation. It is a beautiful time of year to visit the Coming Nature Center. We are hoping for more snow so that we can ski and snowshoe and, find, and, and have more fun ways to explore the woods. And despite all this talk about hibernation and torpor, the winter woods are full of activity. Uh, there's tons of tracks and animals do all kinds of things to survive without hibernating. Come visit the Coming Nature Center. It's an amazing 900 acre uh, classroom. We want to share it with you. We hope to see you soon.